Um, sorry for the typo. In the previous video, at the end of the last video, I realized that there was a typo here. Uh, and I fixed it. I, I love teaching online. I can fix it as soon as I realize the problem. Okay, it's nice. And I, I and I just realized that there was a there was a uh, the the image the Sunni Albany image was black. Half of half of it was blacked out. So I I just fixed it. I maybe when I flip flipped my my video capture, uh, I I I clicked something wrong. So there was another problem. Anyhow. Sorry about that, and uh, what well, is not a big problem? The, the letter was not a big problem. Anyhow, what I wanted to tell you here was that uh, we contrasted the population and the sample. Uh, these two are uh, kind of the counterparts, and like in in statistical inference. And similarly, parameter corresponds to statistic. So parameter is a measure, numerical measure about the population. But statistic is a numerical measure about the sample. So, <clears throat> so when you so in general the story goes like this: you are interested in a parameter, for example, the mean or some probability or like variance, median, whatever about the population. The true mean, the parameter is what you want. It's a one number, and to estimate that, you are going to use a statistic. So if I'm or I'm if I'm curious about the percentage of voters voting for a certain candidate, then how can I estimate that? Do a survey and calculate the percentage of voters supporting the candidate from the sample is my estimator. So that is a statistic. So statistic is a numerical measure that is calculated from the sample. So it should be calculated from the sample, and we learned how to calculate the mean and like and everything like mean probability and many measures. Uh, and the key difference between them is parameter is unknown. Parameter is unknown, but we are interested in. We would like to know the parameter, but uh, on the other hand, statistic is known or like available or computable. If you want to com compute. Then you can compute it. So you have the data, and if you have a computer, then you can calculate whatever statistic you want. Um, but the problem is, it is random. It's uh, it's not. It it may be different from the true parameter because of the randomness in the random sampling process. So we learned sampling distribution. So statistic has a sampling distribution. So statistics randomness is coming from the sampling distribution. So we have to understand the random error, the, the difference, the random error causes the difference between uh, statistic and the parameter. So, so statistic is an incomplete, can be wrong. Uh, so that's the major difference. And let's think about two two most, most important statistical inference methods. One is the estimation and the other is uh, the hypothesis testing. Estimation is more intuitive because it is just to guess a parameter without any hypothesis. And typical, typical like statistics questions are an estimation question like, for example, what percentage of voters support candidate A? And what is the mean gas price of gas stations in New York City? So um, that's it's an open question. It's an open question, and your answer should be a number, what percentage, or what is the mean gas price? So there is no uh, a prior a priori uh, knowledge at all. There is no background hypothesis or any prejudice in an estimation. But hypothesis testing is a little bit different. It's more about testing, so it's not an open question, but it's a it's a yes or no question. Like, so a hypothesis testing literally tests a high if a hypothesis is correct or not. So, for example, instead of asking a question like what percentage of voters 
support candidate A, you may uh, you may cast the question in a similar way like do more than 50% of voters support candidate A? Basically, these two questions are similar. You may answer these two questions from the same data. The data set you need uh, is the same, same for these two questions, but your method is different. We are going to learn uh, how to handle this, this question in chapter 9 and 10. Especially, you have to utilize a kind of pre-existing hypothesis. So, is the mean gas price in New York City lower than $3 or not? So, the previous question, what is the mean gas price? It was an open question. There is no hypothesis. But here, you believe that uh, the mean gas price is lower than 3 Is it right or not? That's the yes or no question. So, in this chapter, in this chapter, we are going to focus on uh, the estimation. So, it's simple. Um, an example, let's think about examples. And presidential election prediction example, it's another estimation because there is a population which is all likely voters, all the voters simply, and sample consists of survey respondents. You cannot ask the question to all voters. But instead, you survey a certain number of voters and they are the sample. And then the parameter, usually the parameter of your interest is the probability of voters supporting a certain candidate. right? And statistic you are going to use is the probability of respondents who support candidate A. So obviously this is the this is how we predict the election. And in the second example, the average gas price. The population is all gas stations in New York City. And the sample is observed gas price gas stations in New York City. You cannot visit all gas stations but just based on some a small number of observations uh, then may, they make a sample and parameter you want to know is the expected gas price of all gas stations in New York City and the statistic you are going to use to estimate this is the average gas price of observed gas stations so actually you can say mean gas price here and mean gas price here too but I intentionally changed their words so when I say expected gas price, it sounds more like abstract and like more more like mathematical, more uh, theoretical uh, thing. But when I say average, it sounds more like you can calculate uh, and something more casual and something you can handle. So intentionally, I I I, differ I differentiated the terms, but basically. They are both mean gas price, mean gas price, but the only difference is the it is the mean gas price calculated from the population, and this is the mean gas price calculated from the sample. We cannot calculate the mean gas price from the population because we do not observe them. If we could observe the population, then then you can calculate the parameter. You know the parameter, uh, of course. You know, as I said, we assume not. So, <clears throat> this is the basic structure for statistical inference. So, statistical, st in statistical inference, again, uh, again uh, the point is you have to understand what is the population and what is the sample. So, the, the population and the sample uh, are two, two uh, building blocks, two major building blocks of statistical inference. Okay, then one more question. Think about one more example. So you would like to estimate the defect rate of uh, manufactured batteries. Like you, you, you ordered, you own a factory and you ordered batteries, which is a part of uh, your, your product. 
and you ordered batteries and you'd like to see how many of them are defective. And it is an estimation problem. So what is not correct? First, one A, population is all batteries, sample is inspected batteries, and parameter is the probability of defective batteries among all batteries. Statistic is a probability of defective batteries among inspected batteries. And finally, all of the above are correct. What is not correct? Think about this. I'm going to, I will come back in the next video. Thank you.